guys welcome to the third part of the media browser service for an android auto app and the last two we set up our, vid our things who have a list of songs so we have our app so the user can go in and our car on the dashboard select the app select media item one which is a playable item or a media group which is a browsable item so click browsable and see where sub media item is in here so now what we're going to do is we are going to set up the media session properly. Now we already set up a media session, but now we need to set up a play state and we also need to set up the metadata and all for it. So it's gonna be a lot more builders. So what we're gonna do now is the media session, you need to set a set of callbacks and that dictates what got pressed at what time. So first thing we need to do is we need to create callbacks. So we're gonna create this as a variable. media session dot callback and we get to choose which to implement now it's we can't implement this into the activity itself because this is a class we're extending not an implementation of an interface so you can choose what to do so we're going to have a pause play stop I want to stop we'll just have pause and play for now Okay, and we're going to log. Actually, you know what? We'll make a toast. So we can see it physically on the screen. And uh, length short dot show. Oops. Okay, command D, command X. Command uh, control. Sorry, I'm used to working on a Mac at uh, work. So you see, we do hear me saying muttering command, and you know, command J is that, and it's actually control Q on Windows. It's a bit confusing. Anyway, so let's get set up our media session. Media session dot set callback. Callback. You can also pass in a handler. Uh, and that's actually quite interesting when you pass in the handlers. So. You can set a handler to define the uh, thread. And that's really nice because when you define a handler, you can tell it, okay, you know, let's say you have a player running in the background on a background thread, which you would have to have in order not to block the UI. And you wanted your callbacks to go into that thread. Then you do that and it works very well. So you can get your uh, concurrency working really well. Anyway, first of all, we set our callback. And we need to set our media session. That set play state. So this is how you control what's being displayed. So the background image is the uh, uh, artwork or the main, or, uh, the main bitmap to show. We have our title and stuff like that. So we're going to set up a basic media session. And we're going to set a bit of media metadata. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, media description. Hang on a second. I mean, I'm getting confused now what this is. This is so many damn things here. Media session. Uh, medium metadata that's what we're looking for damn it now we can't do this we have to use the media metadata dot builder I like the builder uh, thing it does end up having a bit of extra boilerplate uh, nonsense and a bit of extra code but you can generally you know wrap the builders in a nice function our method So I'm just going to chain these calls together. So we're going to uh, put text key uh, uh, medium metadata dot see all the different things key art art URI album album URI 
album art, album artist, author, all this media stuff. Look at all this. It's a huge amount of information in here. So we're just going to say uh, author. Oh. Generally what I do is I play around with these until I figure out which one points to what. Key and char sequence. So uh, let's call this song one. You know what we call it? We call it take me to church. Okay. We're not going to put any bitmaps in because I don't want to. Anyway, so we've got our metadata now. So media session dot set metadata media metadata. Okay, done. With that, we also need to build our play state. Playback state playback equals new playback state dot builder dot set state. Now you can set back speed and all this nonsense. Um, we own now. So we get our builder now. The playback state defines what actual state it's in, whether it's playing, paused, uh, how long the song is. But another thing you can do that's really cool is you can set the actions. So see the way here, this only has a play button. We can actually add extra buttons. So we can tell it what actions we want to add. So I'm going to bring this down onto a new line. This one as well, actually. So you can actually have your playback state dot. You know, state buffering, state playing. So we'll say, we'll say it's playing. And then we'll, on the next line, we'll have dot uh, set actions. Oh, we have actions. What the hell? Damn, my middle, my modeling thing's up. Sorry, don't do that. Uh, this is a bit mask call. Uh, action play pause. That's what we're looking for. That means it'll toggle. Sorry. Um, if you just put action play and action pause separately, it'll show up as two different buttons. We wanted to toggle between them. Sorry, and then we need to set the state, which tells it what you know, what's doing. So we are state playing. Uh, position, we're just going to put zero. Playback speed is one. Done. Oh, dot build. So what's happening now is this defines, the playback state defines, you know, okay, we want one button, controls, play pause, that's it. We also want it to have state playing. So we want it to be in the playing state and it's playing at you know our position zero we don't have a position and its current speed is one which means it's playing at normal speed so we set the media session dot set playback state playback state okay so when we run this we should have some definition up here of what's actually going to happen We build up our session, set it active, get it ready to go. Okay. So let's go back into the Media Simulator app. I'm going to click this. We're going to click that. And as you can see, look, Take Me to Church has come up. We're ready to go. And then if we click this, see the way we clicked it and it does pause. Ta da! Now it's not toggling. So what happens when you pause it? We want the play button to show up. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this code here. Show be in a function, and in this on pause method, we are going to very simply set it to state paused. Okay, and we're going to have it in state, and then we tap play, we want it to state playing. Okay, so now if we run that again, we should get a nice toggleable. Uh, state which means the play pause will be working and you can see the way we're getting the callbacks so here we are need to go back into it so look at that look. play click play pause and it's paused 
and that's all there is to it. So that's controlling, that's you know, play, pause, single button control. We can add other actions if we want, but I'm not going to because you can add stop, forward, back, and you'll get the relevant callbacks in here. And you can actually get custom ones. So we can actually define our actions ourselves and put a bundle with it when we define it. So we can actually uh, create an action here. I think there's actually... Uh, if I go in here, you can actually say, you know, dot set. Uh, add custom action. There we go. And you can name it string. You can put an action string, a name, and an icon. So you can actually define your own custom ones to show on that. So you can have, you know, let's say in an app where you had to want to go forward or back 15 seconds, you can add custom icons to this and get that functionality. Yeah, it's not a standard thing. It's really, really nice. So that's it, guys, for this. That's uh, media playback in a nutshell on Android Auto. Um, that's it, I suppose. Very basic. I'm hoping to give you a good jumping off point and then you can figure out the media sessions and all the cool stuff yourselves and really get to customize this. So anyway, guys, as always, been good talk. And see you next time.